Hey everybody, we're back here to do the reassembly on this HP uh, Slate 7 1800. I can see that we have our piece of glass here. I'm just going to go ahead and dust it off with this uh, little push blower here. I'm going to put our rubber grommet in for our front facing camera and our front facing camera in. Just make sure it's nice and clean. We're going to go ahead and dust off the front of this LCD as well. Use a microfiber cloth to make sure there's no fingerprints or anything on it. Go ahead and put the bracket back in place. You can see there's a little bit of a lip on the top portion that holds the front facing camera down. You also need to make sure that the ribbon cable for the touchscreen comes through this bottom portion here. It can be a little bit tricky. And then once you have that through, just go ahead and slide everything back into its correct place. You'll feel the LCD kind of sit into place. And then you'll need to line the screw holes up with the back metal plate here. You may have to take your tool and kind of push the LCD right back into where it fits into. It's kind of a tight fit and you may have to kind of push it a little bit to get it to lay flat. You want to make sure the ribbon cable for the front facing camera also comes through the frame before you start screwing it down. All right, we're looking good. The first thing that we need to do, I'm just going to check and make sure it's lined up. The first thing that we're going to go ahead and do is put in all of the screws around the metal frame here that holds everything back down in place. All those black screws. There's a few of them in here. I do get a little bit of grief for not uh, fast forwarding through uh, the screwing portion. Uh, the goal is is that I want to show you the exact length of time that it took me to do this. I don't want to fast forward and make something look easier than it is or less time than it actually takes. So if you need to skip forward, feel free to do so. A few more screws to go. On the last stretch here, all right. Now we have all the screws in. The next step is to go ahead and put the logic board into place. So it might be easier to. Uh, place this black and red cable down first. You can put the speaker in it's kind of this correct spot. Uh, just make sure everything lines up and that the rim cable is sitting underneath all of the cables. You can see that we have the front facing camera one up. There's one for, uh, it looks like the LCD is a little bit behind the board here that we may have to pull out. This one here. Go ahead and put our screws in for the logic board. You 
Now remember, these did have specific spots they went into. Some are a little bit shorter or longer than the other. So make sure you put them in the correct spot when reinstalling them. Just a few more to go. All right, now that we have all of those on, we can go ahead and start reattaching our cables. We're going to go ahead and put the front facing camera ribbon cable on first. We can reattach our speaker into the correct spot. You can see there's a little bit of a, a groove pattern where it fits in. Make sure that the cable runs underneath the ribbon cables. It doesn't have to run underneath this LCD cable, uh, but you can if you would like to. flip this connector up. Make sure that when you're reconnecting these longer, flatter cables that you push them in as far as they will go. Uh, if you don't, sometimes they you won't get um, a screen or just white or black images. Uh, so you want to make sure that it's incorrectly. Sometimes it can be a little bit tricky since they're almost an exact fit. You have to put them in straight head on first and then flip the flap down. You can see that the white line will almost line up with the connection where it's sliding into on the cable itself. Alright, so with all our cables put back down, our next step is to go ahead and reattach our battery. So remember, if it got deformed when you were removing it, make sure you kind of put it back into its flat shape so the back shell goes on. I find it easier to uh, try to connect the power cable first before I lay the battery down. That way you make sure you have the correct cable length. And you can push the battery into its correct position and then put it back onto its adhesive. Normally if you didn't damage the adhesive too much when removing the battery, it's pretty easy to put back on. It has a lot of adhesive already. There's a little bit of adhesive underneath uh, this cable up here for the, the black and red speaker cable. We're going to put it back underneath its capped on tape up here. Maybe slide it a little bit lower underneath this touch screen cable up here at the top just like that. Go ahead and power the device on here real fast. Just want to make sure that it functions properly before we put the back on. If we need to readjust the cable or readjust the battery, uh, want to do that now before we snap everything back in place and then have to take it all back apart again. So we're just going to test uh, some touchscreen function with the slide and lock here real fast. Alright, it looks like it's functioning well. Our next step is to go ahead and put our volume and power button cable back in. It just basically snaps into place. There's a little slot on the board or in the frame here where it pushes in. You want the 
square piece to fit over the end, so it's a little bit tight. It'll hold the power and volume button in place. The next step is to go ahead and snap the back cover and I just start at one of the top edges and snap that in first so we get all the corners lined up. And you do have to press pretty firmly to get this back to snap on. Once you get the back snap back on, your re reassembly is complete and you've uh, completely fixed your tablet. If you have any questions about this repair, go ahead and throw them down in the comments. I do my best to respond to those when I have time. If you found the video useful, go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to see future videos, I try to do tablets, phones, I try to do a couple a month. I'll go ahead and subscribe and uh, I'll try to release them as much as I possibly can. I do appreciate you watching the video and I hope to see you uh, on the next one.